guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are talking about top five powders face powders it's a part of my top five series that i've done i know it's like a top five series but i have a little bit more today and um i thought i can't just make it top five just because it's five you know uh, i have to talk to you about the powders i really really love let's start face with uh, you know under eye powders elf high definition uh, powder the under eye setting powder Things I love about this powder, guys, it's translucent powder, but it's very, very travel friendly. It has like a slight seam to it. Uh, the reason I love this powder is uh, how affordable it is first, how compact, small it is, and how an exceptional job it does for the under eye. Um, it doesn't settle in your fine lines or creases, and um, it just lasts all day, and it just gives you a beautiful natural look doesn't change uh, you know the um the foundation or doesn't change the shade it's a beautiful beautiful powder and i really love it and highly recommend it laura mercier secret brightening powder that looks like that and that is again a like a white powder it's a loose powder it's a beautiful powder for under the eye it works um really really well but one other thing i like about this powder it's uh not only because of that but um uh, i really love it as a baking it has like um it's it looks white but it doesn't leave a white cast or something like that it has a slightly slightly sheen but you can you can't really detect it it doesn't it's not like really that um it's um it's shiny it just leaves it like a beautiful finish it's beautiful to bake that's how i bake today using this powder and um i would say it's beautiful under eyes or uh, you know setting the whole face or baking so overall i really like this powder both these two powders guys um they can use by oily or dry skin i find they perform really really Salut well. tilbury um air blush flawless finish and it has a mirror here and it looks like that and as you see guys i used like um i'm all, i mean i use almost all and i have mine in the shade two medium and that is my summer shade and the reason i like this powder besides that the packaging is uh, beautiful you know <laughs> uh, but um besides that and you get a mirror it's a beautiful pressed powder the unique thing about this powder it's um uh, it doesn't settle in your lines at all it doesn't accentuate your fine lines but it just makes them look better and i never seen like a powder do that i mean if you have like forehead lines or a little bit of fluff lines if you like put use a large powder brush like that and you put press a little bit of that powder or even with your fingertip it just kind of like works like um i don't know it just fills them in and it, they look even better than before it's very good um to set your makeup but it will give you color obviously I have dry skin but i have friends that i have oily skin and they really love this powder but uh, all in all i'm in love with this powder i love it and i carry it with me on my handbag beautiful beautiful product and it's the hourglass powders in um i have mine in dim light incandescent light and radiant light and looks like that it's that palette which i think it's amazing seriously guys i think that's amazing and it comes with three powders but you can buy this individually i love the palette because it gives me a little bit more variety my shade that actually that i can set makeup it's the dim light that looks like that these powders are like a ethereal powders they will give you like an ethereal ethereal glow um, they're beautiful and they're fantastic they perform really well you can set your makeup you can like um use them as a buffing technique at the end as a finishing powders or you can use them as highlights or as like slightly bronzers whatever you do whatever you like or underneath the eyes they perform really well in other colors if you're oily it will work for you uh, pretty well but it doesn't like um keep you matte all day that's not what that does that does gives you that ethereal kind of like a beautiful glow uh, it does set your foundation but for me the best way to uh, use that besides that besides the highlighting stuff it's as a finishing powder uh, i mean after you finish your makeup you get a big brush you um, uh, grab a little bit and you just blend it just a little bit so can your makeup look a little bit more smooth and it's fantastic for that but you can use it in any way i highly highly recommend you to check out the hourglass uh, powders they're coming in several shades, so I'm sure you can find the shade for you. As I said, dim light, it's the shade for me that I can use all over my 
um, whole face that one probably it's like more like a bronzer and this one is more like a more like a highlighty shade highly recommend um, hourglass powders la mer the powder i know now that it, it comes in a different packaging in a different jar which i haven't tried it i heard like about other people that it's similar but it's not the same but i like the original and this one i know it's huge it comes with a like a, a buffer brush that you can use it like that right it has a little bit and it's a loose powder as you see here and that powder guys actually it's um like it has that pro probably like beige color the reason i love this powder guys it's like you it makes your skin looks like um like you've been kissed by angels again like that ethereal glow but um i found that um this powder is beautiful for to set your makeup with to bake and also as a finishing powder you can use it just uh, you know with a brush it will keep shine at bay i live in a very humid environment and i use it sometimes like you know on my forehead a little bit on my nose or my chin if i can get some you know shiny and i had people with oily skin loving this product people with normal to dry skin loving this product all over uh, one of my favorite favorite powders i would highly recommend my last recommendations guys it's one from Too faced and uh, that Too faced primed and poreless pressed powder um, I love that it comes with a big mirror and looks like that it doesn't translate on your face white of course and if you have large pores and you suffer from that and if you're extremely oily this powder is for you um, it, you can set your makeup with that and it um, it keeps you um, it keeps you matte like um, almost all day and it makes your pores to look smoother you can use it I suppose under the eyes but I think the best use for this powder guys it's um for me to set your foundation and smooth your pores it's as a setting powder um it doesn't give you any color at all um it performs extremely well and i had girls combo to oily skin they love this powder and it performs really well keep you a matte all day i love it too and as you see i use it a ton and especially on really hot summer days um, where I live in Queensland, um, you always need to set your makeup with something and especially if it's extremely hot and humid, I will go with this one because I know I can guarantee that my pores will look uh, smaller and also that I'm not going to be like shiny or I'm gonna, not going to sweat all day. So oily girls, fantastic this one. Uh, that's where my top like a five, well it's not five but top part of my top five series powders i hope you like this video and let me know which are your favorite powders your top five or your favorite powders i would like to know and um yeah thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day until next time mwah.